Okay, so now I'm going to look for the shape file that we're going to plan on joining the Excel spreadsheet that we downloaded from the census. So I'm just going to go into my Google and type census uh, 2010 track shape file. And I'm going to find the Tiger website. And Tiger is the website that has, is the census program that has all the all the geographic and cartographic information from the Census Bureau. Um, you can see here from their website, they have the 2010 Census. So if I go here to download, and I look here, download by type, and there's a web interface. If I click on the web interface, it will give me the Tiger download page. Here I can say I want to download Census tracks. That's what I, I got. Um, if you chose counties, you could choose counties or states or so forth. I choose Census tracks. I hit submit and here it's going to ask me 2010 and I can go scroll down and choose that I want to download the census tracks for Texas. Um, if you chose 2000 um, you can choose your tracks here. I know in class we chose tracks from a different source and they weren't as good. Um, here they have them in shape file format already so I would suggest choosing it from here. But 2010 we're going to choose this one, submit. And it's going to ask us county, which county I'm going to choose all counties because I did all the tracks of Texas. And this way I'll get all the tracks for Texas in one. So I choose download. And again, it gives me a zip file. So once that zip file is finished downloading, I can open it. Remember again, Windows Explorer, thanks for adding support for, for zip compressed folders. But no thanks to making it look like a folder. We're going to have to extract this, and you can see here on the button, Extract All Files. Click Extract All Files, and go ahead and expand that also on your Lab 1 folder. And I'm going to go ahead and extract that. Once it's done extracting, you can see here the shape file and all of its components. And remember uh, how I was talking to you about GIS data, how it, even though it all comes in multiple files here, um, it's actually just one file and again you can see that by going into ARC Catalog which is basically Windows Explorer for GIS and if I go here and I look for my folder on the desktop which I don't I haven't connected it yet that's why you're not seeing it here so click on connect choose desktop and hit OK that's going to give you it here in your catalog tree and if I click on there and I go to lab one you'll see that this file here is a shape file and I can even preview it um, and see its description and so if I looked here though the shape file is in multiple pieces so that's how you're going to download the shape file from census and, and check it out here's the metadata that we were talking about you can see here that we have a description and uh, all this stuff about access and, and everything. And remember, metadata, data about the data.